the real GDP is estimated to grow at 8.2% in the financial year 2023-2024 as compared to the growth rate of 7% in the financial year 2022-2023. This is as per the statement of the government of India that has been released. The real GVA has grown by 7.2%. In 2023-2024, over the growth rate of 6.7% in 2022-2023. Moreover, the real GVA and real GDP have been estimated to grow by 6.3% and 7.8% respectively in the quarter four of the financial year 2023-2024. Brian on the telecast with me. Brian, if you could shed light into these latest figures that have been released by the government of India and what is heartening to know is that the growth rate now is going to be at the rate of 8.2% as compared to 7% that was the estimate that was brought about last time around. Also initially, like uh, the National Statistical Office uh, from the Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation has now released the very provisional estimates of annual gross domestic uh, product for, for the financial uh, you know, year 2023-2024 and even the quarterly estimates of the GDP for the fourth uh, quarter. And these estimates also include the expenditure components at both constant uh, 2011 to 2012 and even the current uh, prices now. Talking about the annual GDP growth, the real GDP for the financial year 2023-2024 is estimated to grow by 8.2% compared to a 7.0% growth rate that happened in fiscal year, the last year, rather, 2022-23. Now, even talking about the nominal GDP, it has increased by 9.6% mega in uh, financial year 2023-2024 compared to 14.2% of growth rate in financial year 2022 to 2023. Now, talking about the annual GV GVA growth, also the real GVA growth has also grown up by 7.2% in 2023 this year, up to 6.7% uh, that happened last year. Now, if you talk about the growth, you know, Mega, it has driven by a very significant 9.9% increase in the manufacturing sector in, the 2020, uh, in, in this year, rather. And even a notable recovery also from the minus 2.2% growth that happened last year. The mining and uh, quarrying sector also, Megha, saw very substantial growth rather of 7.1% this year compared to 1.9% that happened last year. Now, talking about the quarterly GDP and GVA growth also, which is the Q4 of 2022 uh, this year rather, the real GDP is esti estimated to grow by, a, uh, by, by rather 7.8%. And the real GVA is uh, estimated to grow by 6.3%. Now, the nominal G uh, GDP and the nominal GVA right. is, are also estimated to grow by 9.9% okay. .9 and 8.8% 8 .8 respectively. Okay, Sharad yes, Kohli on the telecast with me. Thanks, Brian, for giving us that update. Now, Sharad, how, if you, how do you break down these figures and what do you understand when we say that the real GDP is estimated to grow by 8.2%? in 2023-2024 as compared to the growth rate of 7%. Now, uh, what is the difference between real GDP and the GDP and the growth rate that had been projected by a number of these agencies nationally and internationally as well? Well, thank you so much, Mega, and uh, good evening to newest NewsX viewers. I think uh, uh, this is a very promising number if you ask me, and if you uh, look at the real GDP and the GDP, well, normally people gauge the GDP, but when it comes to real GDP, there are a lot of factors which we tend to adjust. We tend to adjust the inflation, we tend to adjust the export numbers. There are various ways of calculating the GDP. So when we say the real GDP, we take, we take into account some of the factors which we usually do not take into account in, in calculating the GDP, which one of them I said is inflation. There's something called nominal GDP also. Well, not many people know that by nominal GDP, we are already the third largest economy in the world where you, you uh, adjust the inflation. So the real GDP numbers are measured with regard to the PMI, with regard to the tax collections, with regard to the export numbers, with regard to the indirect tax collections. There are a lot of factors which are taken into account for calculating the GDP. I think, I think uh, uh, all in all, uh, you know, these numbers also indicate the fact that if some people say that the GDP numbers are not the real numbers, then all they need to look into is when we convert GDP to real GDP. If you look at those numbers, you will probably have no reason to doubt as to how GDP is moving and whether this GDP is actually reflecting in countries' progress or not reflecting in countries' progress. And, you know, if you ask me the main reason, Megha, why these numbers have come, one of the prime reasons I feel is the real push that the government has given to infrastructure. Because the moment you start pushing, pushing the infrastructure sector, it takes care of their employment, it takes care of uh, foreign investment, 
it takes care of the money circulation in the economy it takes care of the borrowings it takes care of the consumption there are so many aspects you know there's a multiplier effect every time infrastructure push is given okay. so i think uh, if you ask me on top of my list would be infrastructure second on my list would be india coming up as a big manufacturing base mega that is second on my priority list my list is very long i'm sure you don't have time to uh, allow me to go through the whole thing yeah may, uh, perhaps we can have a debate on it and get you into the conversation and uh, and have a full fledged conversation about how the growth rate of the country has increased over the last couple of years and what is it that is anticipated in 2023 2024 in terms of the real gva and the real uh, uh, gdp numbers that have been shared by the government of india today for more such videos subscribe to the newsx youtube channel hit the bell icon